My name's Tharney. I'm a health and society major from Fremont, California, and I'm a junior. Health and society is a major that merges aspects of biology, psychology, and sociology. I think I've taken some really cool classes in addition to the obvious biochemistry, organic chemistry, and biochemistry. I typically have about three classes in the mornings on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and then if I have any labs, I'll do that in the afternoons. Talking about biochemistry specifically, I think it's the one class that has really sort of primed me for the field that I'm going into, which is medicine. Dr. Zhang really helped all of us learn how to think outside the box. It was a very challenging class, but I think it was very rewarding. She is just such a, an approachable person. She's very invested in all of our strengths and weaknesses and wants to help us succeed in the classroom and outside of the classroom. Dr. Dykstra, my research mentor. The research that she does involve acute myeloid leukemia, which is a type of blood cancer. The research that I'm doing has started to teach me a little bit more about the field of oncology, which is a newfound interest for me. She's just introduced me to a different realm of medicine that I, I wasn't previously exposed to. Such a great mentor, whether it's academics related or otherwise. I'm a supplemental instructor for the Bio 106 class. It's really helpful to get into that focus mode for an hour, host weekly review sessions without the professor present, and I help other students learn how they learn better. My name is Connor Rain. I am a junior sports management and marketing major from Grand Island, New York. I've taken facility management, and I think that class really played the biggest role in my time here at St. Bonaventure. To be successful in the sports field, you need a lot of experience. My sophomore year, I joined the women's basketball team as a manager. One thing about managing is we have to be up bright and early. So my day starts at 545 on some days and doesn't end until almost 10 p.m. My professor, Zach Rudikowski, is currently the director of guest services at the Buffalo Bills. I ended up getting offered a position as mobile ticketing over at the stadium. Getting to work this past year it was a life-changing experience. We actually got to go into the game for free. We actually got to sit in the player preferred and also the family section. My favorite moment, I went down to the section, I sat in the seat, and next thing you know, I was sitting next to Stefan Diggs' entire family. It's something that I would have never thought I would have got out of St. Bonaventure. I have the wonderful privilege of serving as the president of the Student Government Association. I always like to be a part of the change on this campus. Through that, I get to interact with students, and that's my favorite part. You're faced with a lot of different challenges as SGA president. There's times where there's hard conversations that have to be had. You really want the best outcome. And the only way to do that is being open-minded. Rob DeFazio has been a great advisor for me in my position as student government. Katie O'Brien, as an advisor of SGA, she's more than willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that all of our members of SGA and the student population as a whole are taken care of. I'm creative director for a club we have on campus called SBU Asia, Asian Students in Action. We put on a show every year, dances that try to represent as many cultures as possible. Right now we're in the Butler Dance Studio, which is kind of where we have all of our rehearsals. Anyone and everyone can be a part of Asia, whether that's to participate in the actual show or just to show up to our events and learn a little bit more about your peers. It's just a great place to connect with other people. Being able to find a community that you connect with is something that gives me such a wonderful mental break because I can just hang out and have fun and be myself for a little bit and then I can go back and focus on my homework or studying or whatever I need to do. Being from California, home is 3,000 miles away and I can only go home during the longer breaks. I have never really felt homesick. Yes, I miss home and you know, obviously I really miss being around my family. I think I found such a wonderful family here and I feel like no matter where I go at Bonaventure, I will find someone that I can lean on. Bonaventure has become a second home in that sense. Just hanging around our townhouse is one of my favorite things to do. I'm always the last one to get home, seeing everybody around and seeing what they're doing, whether they're watching sports or playing video games, and they're there to support me. That's the bottom line. The friends are very important in your college experience and they guide you through your time here. If you have an up or a down, you know, they're gonna be the first one to see it. St. Bonaventure has more than prepared me for my future. I'm looking to get an internship at some sort of professional sports organization this upcoming summer. And through the connections I have met, I think that's a very obtainable goal. And I think from that internship is going to determine a lot of what I'm gonna do in the future. Right after I graduate, I will be heading to George Washington Medical School in Washington, DC. I definitely wanna become a practicing physician, which field of medicine, I'm not entirely sure, but I have some time to make that decision. I think Bonaventure has definitely prepared me for what the future holds. I found a footing here, and I think Bonaventure has really taught me what it means to be a good citizen of this world, and I'll be able to see things with a more broad perspective. 
I think I've found a sense of confidence that I don't think I had in high school. I have become independent and I think my friends and the faculty here have been such a guiding force in that sense. I'm gonna graduate and go out into the real world with these Franciscan values, with this mission in mind and in my heart.